Well, I've caught up with probably one of the biggest names in the junior training fraternity, and that's of course Colleen Millsaps. Colleen, what are you doing over here in Australia? Um, we brought a couple guys over just to check it out, and you know, you guys have been sending a lot of good guys our way, and we know that you have some good competition here, and we decided to kind of mix it up a little bit this year and bring some guys over. Tell us a little bit about MTF Training Camp because uh, I know a fair bit about it and uh, I think it's very unique in what you do. Yeah, we have a 50-acre um, facility in Cairo, Georgia, which is right above Florida, right on the Florida Georgia line in the southeastern United States. And I have kids that come in for 11 months. And, you know, we do the um, gym and the nutrition and everything. And they ride four days a week there, and they do the gym five, and they race. And then at the end of every month, I have a camp, and that's for kids to come in and learn the techniques. And sometimes it's a little more than that. It depends on, you know, what level we have. We have up to 40 kids at a camp, and we divide them all up into whatever level they are. You do a lot of the training and a lot of the coaching yourself, of course famous Davey Millsaps. Tell us a little bit about how hard it was growing up with Davey. Any parent knows. It, you know, it's, ton, it's tons of sacrifice. That's all it is. You know, it's the parent who's willing to sacrifice more are usually the kids that are successful. It's all about parental commitment and a kid that wants it. You know, it doesn't have to be the most talented kid. It just has to be the kid that wants it more and the parents that see that and are willing to sacrifice the most, most of the time. Growing up, um, how did Davey get into racing? How did it all start? Um, you know, that's a good question. I know all I know is one day I went out about a week before Christmas and was going to change the filters in the water system, and I saw two little PWs, and I was so mad. You don't even know. I was so mad. I was going to load them up and take them back. My kids were not going to ride motorcycles. No way. You know, but and that's where it started. That's where it, that's where it's at now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hook, line, and sinker. The first good race they do, and that's it. You've seen the Australian checks, you've seen the Australian, I suppose, the fraternity here and how they keep themselves. How much different is it to America? Um, there is, there's some differences, but um, you guys got it going on down here. You know, you guys are in the game. I would love to bring more riders back and I would love to see that some of these guys need to go over the states and get more exposure, you know. These guys are in it. been fantastic talking to you. Thank you very much and I hope you really enjoyed your stay yeah, over here. It's been great. We love it here. <laughs> so you're coming back next year with a bunch of other riders? I don't know about a bunch. It's a lot of work to even organize this much. You know, I think that I'd rather just have three or four riders to focus on, you know. But I but I bet you money more kids will come here next year just in general, you know, just not even with me, just coming over. Yeah, it's nice, especially when these guys go back and start and tell them how good it is here.